Okay, so today my goal is to make 100 sales on Etsy from absolutely nothing. I've never opened an Etsy store before. I'm gonna open it this week. The reason I have this idea is because I was scrolling through Etsy last week and I noticed that a bunch of people were selling these clothing tech packs. So if you're not familiar with what a tech pack is, it's essentially the technical sketch that is made before you make the actual product in clothing. So you'll typically send this tech pack to a factory and they will send you back a finished product. I think there's an opportunity for me to list these old tech packs that I have, embellish them and make them more marketable for Etsy and sell them. To make it a bit more exciting, I'm gonna set a goal for myself. I'm gonna try to reach 100 sales by the end of seven days from today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is search for hoodie tech pack on Etsy and see what comes up. So I'm noticing that a lot of these tech packs are extremely detailed. Like they'll put shading or they'll put like scrunching on the sleeves to make it look like it's baggier. Yeah, so like even here on the more basic hoodie, you can see that there's still like these striations along the hood. There's scrunching here, there's shading along the armpit and down the sleeve. So like those kinds of things can be really frustrating, especially for somebody who doesn't know how to use Adobe Illustrator very well. They might not know how to get rid of that and maybe all they were looking to do was simply place a logo and widen the hoodie a little bit. So I think the angle I'm gonna take is providing a very simple hoodie and maybe one or two other items. And that's gonna be the essence of my store. It's these very simple tech packs that are very easy to modify and make whatever you want them to be. Put a profile picture. Let's take a profile picture right now. Let's upload that. I like clothes. Favorite materials, silk, save changes. I have this old tech pack that I made for a client and it was actually a very, very good tech pack. It was very technical and it showed all the different measurements. But now I wanna add another page as well, which is just a hoodie on its own, very plain. And I'm gonna make it so that the arms are down and I'm gonna eliminate all of the detailing that we see over here in the ribbing because I don't know what kind of ribbing the person's gonna to wanna to use. So I'd rather just leave it plain. Okay, so I think this is much better. And now what I'm gonna do as a final touch is I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. So if you go into your colors, you can actually go to color libraries and choose CMYK coded. Then you could take this color panel, drag it to the left until you see that blue highlight. And now, we can actually make it so that when I select these individual objects, if I hit Command Option X, we can make it so that these hoodies could actually be colored in. So I can take this brown color and I can color in individual panels. And if I want a darker brown, let's say, for the pocket, I could do that. So I think this is gonna be a super useful feature for anybody who's looking to make a tech pack. Okay, create our first listing. I created this little thumbnail on Illustrator and it's just a hoodie it says streetwear hoodie vector tech pack. I modeled it after the other listings I saw. So here I noticed this guy writes full zip hoodie, vector flat, it's nice and big above and below the hoodie. And he has 280 sales. So I'm gonna model it after that. The title is incredibly important from what I've seen. So what I did when I created my listing is I put in all the words I could possibly think that people might type in to find this kind of result. So I put streetwear, boxy, oversized fit, hoodie, vector, Adobe Illustrator, tech pack, mock-up template, download file. So it's a very cumbersome title, but chances are if somebody is looking for a tech pack like this, they're gonna type one or two of these words, which is gonna make it much more likely for my result to rank at the top, which is really important with Etsy. The next important part is the description. I actually took a little bit of inspiration from other Etsy listings I saw, and then added my own sauce to it. Finally, with tags, I put very similar to the title, a bunch of different keywords that I thought were relevant, and I priced my item at $2.49. Going through Etsy, I'm noticing that the other listings for a hoodie tech pack are $7, $14, $4. So I figured I'd price mine at one of the lowest prices on Etsy, and it'll make me more likely to be purchased. At $2.49, I don't think I've seen any listing that's priced below that, so I might just be the cheapest price for a hoodie tech pack available on Etsy. 
So now I've made my first listing. This is what it looks like. Streetwear hoodie vector tech pack. Very simple. I also created a little icon for my shop to make it look a little bit more professional. Okay, so that concludes the first day. Now I'm gonna sit here, wait 24 hours, and see how we do. And I'll see you guys in another 24 hours. So it's day two. I have not checked my Etsy yet, but we'll check it together to see if we made any sales or we have any traffic at all. Sadly, we have made zero sales. Uh, we have no visits and we have no views. So something's definitely gonna have to change. So let's try to figure out what we need to do differently to make this happen. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is saying that buyers are loving listing videos. So I'm gonna create a little short screen recording that kind of displays exactly how to use my tech pack and hopefully that'll boost visibility or make people click it more. Here's the video for my listing. It basically just shows me changing the color of the hoodie and showing that you could actually change those colors which might make it more enticing for people to buy. The next thing I'm noticing is that from some YouTube videos I watched about this, people were saying in order for your shop to have some sort of legitimacy, you need to have more than one item listed. How many items should my Etsy store have? Okay, so I'm not gonna do 20 items because I don't even have that many items to come up with and make, but I think that a good place to start would be five items. So what I'm thinking of doing is I already have the hoodie. I'm just gonna make a whole streetwear collection. I'll make a crew neck, I'll make a t-shirt, and then I'll make sweatpants. And then my fifth item is going to be all four items in one pack that's priced slightly lower than if you were to buy each of them individually. So here's my updated Etsy store. It now has five listings. The next step I'm gonna take is I wanna boost my SEO a little bit because I'm noticing right now that when I look up streetwear hoodie or anything at all that's even in my title, I only find my item on the third, fourth, or fifth page, which is why it's not even being viewed by anyone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on Fiverr and I'm gonna find somebody who does some sort of SEO boost within Etsy, because I'm sure I can find something for cheap. So let me look up Etsy store SEO. Okay, so I came across this guy who looks pretty reliable. He has 4.9 stars and 127 reviews as a seller. So I reached out to him and we're gonna see if we can make something happen. Okay, so I spoke to this guy, Azam Farouk. He is able to rank my store much higher on SEO. He thinks he could probably get it listed as number one. And the cost for this whole project is gonna be $21. I placed an order with Azam. We're gonna see what happens. Now I have five listings on my store and I'm now gonna get a whole bunch of visibility which will hopefully make me rank higher as well as having included videos for each of my listings. So I'll get back to you guys in 24 hours and we'll see where we stand. Hopefully we make our first sale. Okay, so it's day three. I have not yet checked the stats on Etsy, but I'm really hoping that there's gonna be sales and I'm hoping that we got a little bit of traffic because yesterday was completely dead. Uh, so let's see if our strategies worked. Okay, all right, okay. We've made two sales. We have, here, let me just do this live view. 1957 total views, 1309 visits, two orders, $4.98. Both sales came from the streetwear hoodie vector tech pack. So I guess that was the one with the most demand. Let me see if the SEO actually worked. I'm gonna type in tech pack and see how my stuff ranks. I am still the sixth result over here with my streetwear hoodie. And then the rest of my items are a bit more down. Still, the crew neck is over here, and I suppose the sweatpants have been lost somewhere. Here they are, they're on the second page. When we started off this challenge, we were like not ranking at all, our like post was actually just impossible to find, and now we are actually able to locate our stuff. So now that I have the SEO figured out, I have the visibility for my posts, I need to figure out how to actually make sales. People aren't really going to buy your listing if they don't have a history of sales or they don't have any reviews. And I completely understand that. Like, as somebody who'd be looking to buy something like this, if I see that nobody's bought it and nobody's left a review, how am I gonna succeed? So the plan is to call a bunch of my friends, ask them to buy this vector pack, leave a review, and from there, it'll give it a lot more visibility. So let's do that. Yo. 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 
Hi, buddy. Good you? Good you. How's it going? Hi. That's good, man. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Trying to make 100 sales in seven days. I'm getting a lot of views, but I'm not making that many sales. I have no reviews on anything that I've posted. So what I want you to do is I want you to buy one of the tech packs and leave a review. Sure, of course, bro. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay? Okay, of course. Yeah. Okay, I'll actually use it. Okay, I will do it. Done. Bro, I fucking love it, man. Five of my friends bought and left reviews. This was super helpful. Okay, day four. I have a bit of a smile on my face because I already checked my computer. We have 3,500 views, 1,900 visits, 12 orders, and $70 in revenue. To be fair, half of those orders are from my friends, but the other half are from total strangers, which means that the reviews are working and everything we did is working. I'm gonna give a live review of where I'm ranking, so I'm gonna clear my cache on Safari, look up Tech Pack on Etsy and see where we land. On a cleared browser, I just looked up Tech Pack, and we are coming up as the fifth, seventh, 10th, 15th, I think, and then all the way down here for the sweatpants. Because this is going pretty well, I'm gonna leave it as is until tomorrow. And if we don't have a huge boost in sales by tomorrow, we'll assess a strategy to make it to 100 sales by the end of the seven days. Good morning. Very excited today because this is the current status. 7,400 views, 4,600 visits, 24 orders and $120. So I'm gonna count each individual listing sale as a sale towards my 100 as opposed to counting one order with multiple listings as one sale, um, just because make my life a little bit easier. Currently, 36 sales. We're pretty far off the 100 sales mark, but what I will say is that a product that I created from nothing or repurposed on my computer five days later, I have 36 purchases on that product. To be fair, five of them are my friends, but there's 31 other complete strangers that I don't know purchase my product. So I am pretty happy with the results so far. Um, having said that, if I do actually want to make 100 sales within seven days, I don't think I'm going to get there with the current trajectory. So we're definitely going to have to ramp it up a little bit. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a post on TikTok where I talk about the tech pack and just maybe have a little bit of an example of how I use it. You should make a TikTok that shows the progression of you having built this tech pack and then all the way until you having made the t-shirt. So like you show how the tech pack actually um, can create really cool designs and really cool products. So you're like giving credibility to it with your own t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 it's subtle, subtle. Can I see you have? Day six. Okay, so I posted a TikTok. Uh, it's been up for about 24 hours. Let's check the engagement. So the TikTok kind of did badly. It only has 570 views and I don't know, like one comment, 20 likes. It did not do well. I have some TikToks that have much higher engagement than that. So it's a bit of a shame. Looking at the actual dashboard, sales did keep rolling in. The TikTok didn't really seem to matter too much. The current status is that we're at 48 sales. Um, which is incredible, you know, I, I, I'm incredibly happy with that. Um, Etsy is showing that half of the traffic is coming from them, the other half is coming from that source that I pushed at the beginning of the week uh, through Fiverr, um, so that's super cool. And I'm making, you know, a good amount of sales. I, I, I could have never really anticipated this. When I took on this challenge, I really thought I'd have to push all of the sales myself. And it's nice to see that the sales are still rolling in organically and I kind of have a self-fueling machine now. Can I make 52 more sales in the next 24 hours? It shows that right now, 20 people have the hoodie in their basket, 20 have the collection, nine for the t-shirts, six for the sweats, four for the crew neck. There is still this level of engagement that's going on right now. I don't know if those people are gonna actually check out or not. I haven't really been checking who has what in their basket. I'm just kind of noticing this now. Um, but maybe that's something interesting. Maybe that's what's gonna push us if half of these people actually check out. And we'll tune in tomorrow for a wrap up and hopefully I'll have come up with something on my downtime. 
so it's currently day seven. It is the final day of the Etsy challenge. It is now the afternoon, so I'm gonna consider the challenge done. And I am very sad to report that we did not reach 100 sales. However, we reached 51 sales. You know, I set 100 sales as a benchmark for this video, but being real with myself, I would have been surprised if I had made five or 10 sales. I have to say the outcome of this challenge is I'm still very, very happy. In total, I made $183 in revenue, and then I spent like $20 on the Fiverr person to boost my SEO. If I could be making that $150 every single week and keep that burning for the entire year, that's this amount. Over that one week period, we had 12,000 views and 7,500 visits. I believe a visit is when somebody actually clicks on your listing and a view is when they see it in the feed. As of right now, if you search up Tech Pack in Etsy, my result is the eighth result for the hoodie, 10th result for the collection, 11th for the t-shirt, something like 20th for the sweats. The crew neck is all the way at the bottom of the page. The word Tech Pack pulls up all five of my listings on the first page of Etsy when someone looks up Tech Pack in general. That to me is astounding results for $20 of ad spend. So I'm extremely ecstatic. I think these results are incredible and uh, I'm very open to doing something like this in the future. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content and want to see more like it, let me know down in the comments. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Take care. Goodbye. Yeah. In the coat, but the roof is imaginary. Sipping vodka with the crown.